Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Google Chrome Flags. If you didn't know, Google Chrome Flags is a way to access experiments, okay? Which means it's a beta, so it's not for everybody. It's upcoming features. Sometimes they make it to the browser, sometimes they don't. So how to do it? Open your Google Chrome. If you have other websites open, you want to open a new tab. And then you want to type in C-H-R-O-M-E colon forward slash forward slash flags hit enter and there you go here's your experiments available unavailable typically unavailable means it's for Chrome OS Android and it's just not supported by your device so available watch this just so you know how intense this is let me keep I'm scrolling so fast I can't keep it on the screen there's a lot going on in experiments so let's go back to the top. So the thing here is, it's really not a lot of fun to play with by browsing. So typically you already have something. Uh, let me take, for example, the time of this video, there was, they're testing Windows 11 style menus. So I don't know if it will show up by using search. There it is. So if you know you're looking for something or you wanna try and find something, there it is. So here it is as an experiment, Windows 11 style menus default you have enabled enabled all windows versions and disabled so you can go from default to enabled or enabled all windows versions as you can see once again as a beta it doesn't explain what that means so my guess would be using windows 11 style menus on not windows 11 so windows 10 8 7 so that's that's it so let's do enable them on windows 11 and you're going to see relaunch. So go ahead and click that right here. And as you can see, it comes right back at the top to show you where you're at. You can flip around and try it on different websites, etc. See if you like it, keep that tab open. And you can always come back and go back to default or disable with a quick relaunch. Pretty easy to do. So it's not too tough to play around with. Now, many times you'll actually see an address. So you saw us put in Chrome flags. So if you're on the internet and you see something you want to try out, it probably gave you an address directly to the experiment. So in that case, you want to copy and paste whatever the code is you happen to have. I'm going to bring it in from my other screen. I already have it. So let's just pretend we didn't even ever open this. And you'd open a new tab paste in the code so the one we just played with happens to be right there and there it is or anything that matches any of the similar words so again it's not too tough to do if you want to go back to the root clear that out chrome flags and now that I showed you how that works you'll notice that those same things are right here so let's say you want to share it with a friend uh, let's say accelerated 2d canvas if you click on this link right here or copy and paste it as is you can go like this copy and then you can send it to somebody who you might be interested in pretty easy right so that's a little bit about how the Google Chrome flags work again it's pretty neat and most people who want to play around can do so if you have Google Chrome and you have multiple logins you might be able to play around and not have to worry about for example creating a, you can create a new profile and you can actually play around with it on different profiles so it gives you an opportunity to play with google chrome flags without screwing up your daily browser and there you have it that is how you can use chrome flags i hope you like it something to something different just to give you an idea how it works you probably heard of it before so if you didn't know now you know and you know the drill thanks for watching as always see ya